Hi, I'm Mike Sokol from the No Shock Zone and RVTravel.com. I recently received an interesting question from John Baxley in North Carolina, and he asks, After reading your article on RV hot skin voltage, I ordered a Southwire 40126N non-contact voltage tester, but now wonder if it's the correct tool. According to the directions, it detects voltage by putting it near a hot plug, but will it also find a hot skin voltage by putting it next to the skin of an RV? Great question, John. But first, a quick review of what a hot skin stray voltage is. Normally, the skin and chassis of your RV is within 5 volts AC of the earth. It's the job of the ground wire in your shore power cord and pedestal to keep it down to this safe voltage. But if the ground wire is loose or broken in your electrical connection, this voltage can rise to 30, 60, or even 120 volts. Anything over 30 volts can be dangerous to your heart. So if you detect 30 volts or more, then you should disconnect your RV immediately until the problem can be corrected. I came up with this very simple proximity hot skin stray voltage test nearly 10 years ago, but the manufacturers haven't included it in their owner's manuals yet, which is why you didn't read it but you can see it here. I have a variable AC power supply, my VW microbus, and several different non-contact voltage testers I always recommend for my stray voltage patrol. Of course, there are other brands and models that will work, but let's keep it simple for now. First up is the Fluke Volt Alert 1AC2, rated for 90 to 1000 volts. Next is the Klein NCVT-1, rated for 50 to 1,000 volts. And finally, this is the Southwire 40136N, rated for 50 to 600 volts. Even though all three of these testers are rated to find potentials higher than 50 or even 90 volts, they all work great at finding a stray voltage as low as 30 volts on something as large as your RV. Let's try it. First, I'll turn on my power supply so we have 30 volts AC on the skin of the RV. I have a flute volt alert. I'm going to push the button once. It beeps at us and a light comes on to show us that the battery is still good. When I get within an inch or less of this RV, you can see it's beeping at us and the light's coming on. Now, if you have something as large as your own RV, this could be several inches away, even at 30 volts, just because of the larger surface area. If I have a Klein tester, I hit the button, the light comes on, and it has a solid green light with a beep. Once I get within an inch or so of the mini RV, you can see it's detecting 30 volts. And that would be perhaps three to six inches away with something as large as your own RV. Here's the south wire tester. When I hit the button, it powers up, the green light comes on, and it beeps once. And again, when I get within an inch or so of this even small RV, it will beep red at us so that we know that we have at least 30 volts on it. Let's try this with 120 volts. At 120 volts, the flute beeps from two or three inches away, and it could be more than two feet for a full-size RV. The Klein beeps from several inches away, and again, two or three feet from your own RV. And the south wire beeps from several inches away. Again, could be two to three feet away from a large RV. These same manufacturers also make dual range testers, such as the south wire 40126N you mentioned. And these will also work to detect a hot skin stray voltage as long as you leave them in high voltage mode. If you set them into the 24 volt low range, they'll be too sensitive for this test and you can get false positive warnings. Read the directions to make sure these are set in the high voltage range. Well, that's it for now. I'm Mike Sokol. Let's play safe out there.